Now, throughout this video series, you've been watching me use a remote connection to the server with SSH. And the reason I've been doing that is because I would have to set up a camera and record the screen on a Linux server since there's not going to be any sort of screen capture software for that kind of shell environment. So instead, I've been using Camtasia on a Windows system where I have remote connected to my server using SSH and I'll show you how simple that is to do right now. As you can see here I have already uh, checked to make sure that SSH is running uh, using service SSH status and if you follow the installation video then we installed SSH uh, when we installed the uh, operating system so you should have that on here and you should have it running if you do and you are on a Windows system then you can use a program which is called putty on Windows putty to remote connect to your server so when you click on a putty here's what you're going to see you can type in your host name right here mine is test serve or of course you can do the IP address port 22 will be fine we are using SSH and uh, if you want to you can save it as uh, you know my configuration and then you can save it down here there are a lot of other options of the appearance and the behavior of the terminal uh, but all you should have to do if SSH is running on your server is put in your host name or IP uh, uh, saving a uh, configuration or a session is optional and then click open you'll see here a new terminal window and you will be able to input your username and your password to log into your server uh, it should be that simple uh, there are certainly security concerns and things that need to be talked about in more advanced lessons more advanced series on this subject the greatest threat to security when connecting with SSH in my opinion is a man in the middle attack a man in the middle attack will happen when somebody is getting between you and the server that you are trying to contact and so what will happen is uh, you will go to connect to the server and this is such a basic login screen here that what ends up happening is you think you're connected to your server but you have someone who's gotten in the middle of that connection that's why it's called a man in the middle attack and uh, this person who's in the middle they are pretending to be your server but they are not your server okay and so what ends up happening is you put in your username and you put in your password and if if you're really falling prey to a man in the middle attack the man in the middle has stolen at that point your username and your password so they've given a phony shell uh, off and you think that you're connected to your server but you're not really and so you give this uh, illegitimate server your username and password and then whoever's running that uh, machine now has access to your legitimate server because you've given them un, uh, you know unbeknownst to you you've given them um, your credentials okay so I think that's the greatest threat and the, the biggest thing you have to watch out for when using SSH however uh, SSH has uh, by default uh, a built-in uh, key that will alert you if you are connecting to your server or attempting to connect to your server and the server's key or its fingerprint has changed you will receive a message that says ah the last time you connected to your server your key was such and such and this time you're trying to connect to your server and now it's a different key do you still want to connect and the only safe answer to that question is cancel no I don't want to do anything I want to get the heck out of here uh, and then you can see what's going on you as the 
server administrator, you're going to know if you changed the key on your machine. Uh, if you didn't and you haven't recently, say you've maybe uh, reinstalled the operating system or something, but if you haven't done anything like that recently, then you can feel pretty confident that something funny is going on here and uh, you, you would want to get the heck out of there, okay? Uh, but in general, SSH is very easy to use. There is authentication by key which does not require for you to log in using a username and password that is often considered more secure. I would consider it more secure. However, um, it's uh, also a little more detailed um, to set up. There's a little more you have to do to set that up. And so SSH by default is going to work with you logging in. Please, please, please do not log into your server. I've already said don't log into your server as root at all. You don't need to, but please, please, please do not log into your server as root via SSH. That is just about the most dangerous thing that you can do with SSH, and here's why. Uh, uh, anybody uh, performing a man-in-the-middle attack or somebody who wants to gain access to your system, they don't necessarily know the user accounts that are on your system except for root and some of the other uh, default accounts. But they know that there's a root account there. The only thing they don't know is your password, okay? And so by logging in in that manner, you're just giving them easy access to the missing piece in the puzzle for how they can get into your system. Uh, but we've already talked about that a little bit with uh, sudo and root security, that you shouldn't be doing that anyway. What you need to do with root privileges, you should be able to do using sudo. That is uh, all that we'll cover with SSH here. If you have questions about SSH, please let me know and I would be happy to answer those.